Okay, so after a quiet day yesterday, uh, just sort of mulling around and getting good food, we've uh, got up a bit earlier, hopped on the bikes, and we've headed down to the ruins. Yeah, we've been meaning to come here for, well, since we've been here for weeks. So, a bit different from what we expected. We thought we would find um, just the ruin or the entrance to the site, but it's like a huge market, souvenir place, very touristy. So, yeah, let's see, let's see what else is around. So we found the entrance, um, we watched a couple of other vlogs where people have come here and they said that uh, they took the camera off of them, so let's see how we get on. So we just made it in. It was all really smooth. Um, they didn't make any fuss about recording. We just got permission to record like you do in every site in Mexico that we've been to. It's usually 45 pesos. Uh, the ticket to get in was 75 pesos, so really cheap not compared too bad. to other places we've been. Compared to Chichen Itza, a lot cheaper. We haven't done any preparation on this place, so we actually don't know how big it's gonna be. We just saw the typical pictures online. So not sure if the price is worth, but still pretty cheap. So I think 75 it's definitely- 75 pesos is nothing, is it? Yeah, so. no, so. Yeah. On the way in, we saw some like really weird <laughs> animals. So I'm not sure what they are. I saw them before in the Central America. Oh, here, there's some more. <laughs> They're so cute and, and a bit weird, but yeah, lovely. <laughs> So we just made it in. It's a lot greener than the other sites we've been to. Um, it's not so busy, it's okay, it's not mega busy, but yeah, it looks awesome. So we're gonna go and explore. It's full of iguanas everywhere. Marty's really happy because uh, the nature here is beautiful. It is amazing, actually. There's a, l a lot of iguanas everywhere. There's a lot that one's chilling on the roof of the, the, the Mayan thing. <laughs> you usually see them behind the glass, not, not in the nation yeah. archaeological site. Yeah, the iguanas are rock stars at this archaeological site. And Just 
see the size of the iguana? Marty's made a friend. Are they iguanas? <laughs> I hope they're iguanas. Just looking out into the ocean it looks stunning so we're gonna head down and see if we can find the beach an entrance to the beach i know where the beach is it's pretty obvious so this way up here was really busy and crowded earlier so we're gonna go and try and see more what's up there so interesting hopefully the beach made it to the viewing platform near where the beach is. Uh, looks absolutely packed down there but we're gonna go and have a look. Yeah all the coast is absolutely amazing in this area so there is no need. I mean it's super cool to, to swim there under the Mayan ruins but it's just so overcrowded that it's not worth it. We're gonna go take our bikes and check the coast uh, a bit more down. Okay, so Tulum uh, archaeological site is absolutely amazing, it's worth a visit. It's relatively small compared to the other site that you find in the region, but beautiful. So we've just gone back to get the bikes. Um, sad moment for us. And it's a bit of a sad moment. The, um, <laughs> <laughs> the lock was on its way out for a while, but the keys just snapped in the lock. So rest in peace. So the bikes are staying in Tulum tonight in the Zona Archaeological. Yeah. Anyway, we're on foot. We're gonna go and try and find a bar and uh, drown our sorrows. Right, so we're on a boat and uh, yeah, just a bit of a change of plan again. We found a guy that offered us a tour to see the Maya ruins from the sea and then a dive on the coral reef. So the coral reef is the second bigger, biggest one uh, in the world and uh, yeah, the the price is relatively cheap for what it is, but I think it's because the sea is an absolute mess, which is quite unusual here. It's really choppy and uh, I, I think it's getting a bit grey, so I don't think they would do more tours for today. So we thought, even if it's maybe not ideal because of the sea conditions, the price is really good. It's our one before last day, so for what it was, if it's absolutely terrible and we really enjoy the coral reef, we can probably do this again tomorrow. So let's see how that goes.